so tell me, for example, if I were to, if I'm buying a new guitar now, and can you sell me your guitars? What makes them so special compared to other brands that might have similar models? Oh, I'm 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 the best at selling my own guitars because <laughs> you know I'm no, I'm I'm not a sales guy. I mean uh -huh. it's you know what it is. I mean when it comes down to guitars, they're just guitars, okay. and uh, you know people try and oversell their stuff and you know say it's the best fucking thing in the world and it's like <laughs> uh, you know what it's just another guitar, but they are fucking great because we as a company we go there to the factory every month after you know before every shipment we go and qc the guitars ourselves okay. and i mean when a lot of the other brands they don't do this they basically let the retailers or distributors qc and you know set up a guitar we go to the source and we qc at the factory and um, i think that's the reason why you know a lot of people that have bought the guitars are just overly happy because you know they get a really kick-ass guitar in their hands when it arrives yeah, uh, with the box, and you know, it's also. I think it's oh, one of the things is that you know, my type of sound and my kind of like approach to everything is very metal focused. Yeah, and these guitars are they're metal guitars. There's no, you know, we're not trying to spread our wings and you know make a Telecaster just for the sake of trying to make a Telecaster and reach a broader audience. Yeah. I mean, we do metal guitars, and we're really focused about it. And I think that's our strength. Yeah. Uh, because we just, we're just so passionate about metal and death metal. And it's like, yeah. So that's that's why you should buy a solo guitar to support death metal. Okay. <laughs> All England <laughs> salesman. Okay. okay. I also, I seen that you released two new solo guitars. I think one is Explorer, the other is Flying V, Seven Strings. You know, can you tell me a little bit more about them? Yeah, uh, we've been. Uh, I mean, since Nam, we kind of like started to unveil a lot of guitars. Yeah. Um, I mean, we we were at Nam, and we didn't really show that much at Nam because I mean, everyone shows their news at Nam. Yeah. So why would we? I mean, I, it doesn't make any sense. Everyone's competing for the same space. So yeah. obviously, we were, we just went there and showed our faces, and I said hi to people, and you know, just hanging around, having a good time. And uh, now the the time after Nam is when you know uh, we start launching our shit. So that, that's that's the cool thing about having your own brand. I, I I just do what I want, and you know this is the way I want to do. I want to you know pump out malls here and there, as I wish. So um, we uh, I think like last week we launched the the E type seven string and the V type seven string. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they're uh, both. Let me let me say it correctly. I think it's flame. Trans Black, I think okay. they're called. Flame Trans Black uh, finish, and uh, both are 25 and a half inch scale length okay. for a seven string. Many people might think that that's uh, too uh, that that's too short for a seven string, but from what I found out with using Evertune is that uh, you know the importance of having a longer scale kind of disappears. Yeah. So um, they're uh, 25 and a half. They have stainless steel frets, uh, every tune bridge, as I said, and uh, okay. yeah, they're just they're just really sick. I'm really happy uh, about how they came out. Okay. And uh, you know, when you play them, they're just like they're just so chunky sounding. I love it. Thanks for watching. And if you want more music news, just subscribe to Ultimate Guitar TV and press that little bell to get notifications.